Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Travos, and in this video I'm going to take you guys through my mind and how I create a class and what I do to kind of level up fast because I am definitely a speedrunner of sorts uh, for a lot of this stuff. But I'm going to first show you guys my armory and kind of showcase that for you guys uh, because I don't have that much stuff and I have 11 days played almost on this game. It's absolutely ridiculous how unlucky I am, even though I do have quite a few good things. Definitely not enough for how much time I've spent. I don't have any good battle. Like, Inferno's kind of good, I guess, but it, it's so weird and inconsistent. And then this is the only hair trigger, or er, the only AK I have that's not uh, gray. Like, seriously, that's the only AK I've ever gotten. And these are the only battles I've gotten. I don't have Obsidian Steed. I don't have Rip or any other version of the AK even. And I feel like the battle for the AK is the best gun uh, at all. And just in general, uh, those are the two best. Uh, obviously, you can go with things like the ASM-1. But... Uh, uh, I, I really don't prefer it because it doesn't have too many other capabilities than at close range, but occasionally you can make it work. So I'm just going to go with a very simple battle class. Uh, you can morph this to whatever gun you want, but I'm going to start with the battle, I guess. And I would also suggest like the AK or certain variants like uh, the HBR Insanity or other things like that that will bring other guns up to par but yeah so we're starting off with the bow I'm gonna go with stock and quick draw as those are important and I'm just gonna go around the rest of the places and show you guys what the most important things are first so obviously we have the gun stock and quick draw allowing gun fights to be used perfect now toughness is very useful in normal circumstances although in very easy lobbies I guess you could say uh, or if you're playing it perfectly you don't need toughness uh, but for the most part I'm, j I'm just gonna say use toughness and because this is to get more XP faster I'm gonna go with blast suppressor rather than scavenger uh, and I guess sometimes hardline is useful but uh, hardwired is it, I, I personally don't prefer it at all. It's just not worth it, even though it is annoying to be uh, scrambled by those things. But it's just, it, it's not quite worth it, in my opinion. So, yep, I'm going to start with these for perk 3, which is pretty much always going to have two perks in it. Perk 2 is either going to have 0 or 1. Uh, you're kind of crazy if you put 2. And uh, perk perk one is usually two as well, uh, but that's just because I'm addicted to lightweight. Although it's not really that necessary, I just really like it because it helps me in in a gunfight as well. It's kind of like why you choose quick draw and stock uh, and toughness. Uh, it just it it helps all around, and it feels like it it's very prevalent. Otherwise, you could do Flak Jacket and, I guess, Competitive Class is Overcharged. Uh, there's really no other use for Overcharged other than in Competitive occasionally. I don't, I don't see too much use in public matches. There's six players. It's, it's not too useful. Uh, and then, or even nine players if you do Ground War. But yeah, Danger Close is just, yeah, no. I, don't, don't be that guy. Uh, so I'm going to go with low profile like actually I'll take lightweight off for now because I said I was gonna go for the most important things first uh, and we're not quite done with those UAV is very important a very safe way to go about using UAV is to do something like this extra assist points helps you chain your UAVs faster uh, so that's why I like using it not enough people do in my opinion uh, you could go threat detection I would do this then probably maybe this but this helps you chain it again so you can get more 
uh, over and over again. Support if you need it. Find a way in there. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna do this for this class, and then Systemac is another great way to get experience. Uh, UAV had a very good purpose uh, because it allows you to see enemies a lot easier and stuff. Ever. Like this is very common knowledge. I don't know why I decided to explain that. Uh, so it's not only very good but allows you to get experience, especially with the extra points. Systemac is still good for the experience aspect, and I don't think it's as useful as a UAV, but at the same time, and part of why I'm saying it's as it's not as useful is because it's more expensive, but uh, at the same time, system hack is less used by your teammates, because not only do people use it less, it's harder to get so you can be a great value to your team if you do use it so I'm gonna use it on this class and this is a pretty safe bet again assist assist points to get uh, to chain your streaks a little bit easier and doing this kind of setup with fairly low point cost UAV and system Mac, it actually allows you to get quite a few of them especially with the assist points uh, over and over again so that is actually a really good option that that way you don't really need uh, the other extra time uh, although you could even do this and still chain them really well but I, I think this kind of evens it out too much this is overkill and it's harder to get uh, so I don't know I, I find this to be a great balance otherwise you could do uh, either both extra times or zero I guess or you could even do something uh, like this or maybe just one extra time or something like that if you do one extra time you might as well put assist points on uh, but yeah disabling exo is so hilarious and effective in this game that actually makes the system act like a top streak in my eyes definitely better than UAV at this point before it was kind of worse slightly but but if you put disable XO on, it, it becomes top tier, although it makes it kind of harder to get. Uh, and the only way to make it really useful is, is if you make use of the extra time, otherwise it's kind of a waste. Uh, so that's why I say it's it's only useful if you do something like this, but then, again, extra cost. But anyways, let's get out of System Act. I talked about that too much. You guys got the point already. And with your extra points, I would not go with exo abilities or launchers unless you're in like hard point or something like that. It's very game mode specific. I would lean towards using a launcher much more than uh, an exo ability. Although, again, it's very game mode specific. Overclock is a very safe bet if you do want to use one, however. Uh, it's really good for any game mode and helps you get back into combat faster, which is great for experience grinding. And then launcher, I would recommend the stun because you can't always get kills with the explosives, but stuns help you get kills with your gun, so that's always really good. Uh, but I'm not going to use them. I, I feel like I get on streaks too often to make use of such a limited part of your class, so I would rather do something else. Uh, so let's go into the attachments, because obviously you want to kill better. I feel like I want to go with extended mags because not only does it seem like the bow really gets through its ammo because of its uh, fire rate, uh, we do not have scavenger on this class so that's something to watch out for. Uh, so extended mags helps get you more ammo and also helps you uh, feel more comfortable with reloading because normally, oops sorry, uh, normally if you had scavenger, like let's say this was your class, then I would probably most likely go with foregrip. And why that is, is because if you have scavenger, then you're going to feel a lot more comfortable using the uh, the double tap reload, the fast reload, which means that you're not really going to have problem with reload times. You're going to be able to do the fast reload pretty much all the time. So extended mags isn't quite as useful. You can just really quickly reload anyway but I'm gonna change this back uh, so yeah if you're not gonna be doing the fast reload then I would definitely suggest doing extended mags on your class especially with ARs 
uh, as you just get into a lot of gunfights and it's hard to get out fast enough to reload and still keep all your ammo and be effective. Uh, and then the last two points are really tricky. I usually go with lightweight just to help me out with the gunfights as I was saying earlier, but uh, another recommendation I would say is fast hands, either because of uh, lack of scavenger and what I was saying before with the reload and everything it helps you get out of combat while still being effective with your time and everything uh, but uh, it's it's always risky doing fast hands because then you have to boost cancel if you don't want to reload and instead of sprint cancel and it just makes it a lot more complicated uh, a really safe bet is to use peripherals there's really no downside except having to get used to the extended map which I currently can't really do all that easily. I, I don't like it. I, I can focus on the map perfectly fine, and usually I know exactly where everybody on the map is at any given time, even without the radar anyway. Uh, and you should, if you can't do that, you should strive to be able to, because it, it's a wasted point, and it just helps you, in general, be more effective. So... I would recommend actually doing nothing in perk 2 almost ever. Uh, so again, lightweight, or I would say do like fast hands, possibly gung-ho by your class actually. Uh, like if you're using uh, the sack 3. Uh, but then I'd say do something like bombing run with either nothing or additional bomber. Uh, you could do instead the aerial assault drone with rockets AI that's really effective uh, warbird with either just aggressor or aggressor extra time although I personally don't see too much of a point of using extra time uh, that's just my preference and I guess you could also do an orbital orbital care package uh, I don't really know what's best because ob honestly if you use better odds, it seems like it gets you the recon drone every time. I swear, it is not better odds. They programmed it thinking that recon drone was such a great streak. Nobody nobody takes it if, if it comes up with recon drone. Enemies do not steal the care package. Nobody takes it. Nobody on the team rushes out for it. But if it's actually like such a like a lowly UAV or anything that everybody constantly gets like people are rushing for that so it is not better odds it is not good i do not prefer it that is my advice if you are going to be use using care packages but i, I don't really do that very often uh, so i guess what i would do in the end would be lightweight although there are a few extra options there especially depending on your game mode with exo launchers like stuns and stuff like that but this is pretty much about what i would do uh, i might change the UAV to this uh, depending on how I'm feeling but but it makes it a lot harder to chain but then again if I am pairing it with this it's pretty much the same amount of points so you get them both at the same time and the assist points all at once rack up really quickly at that point and you can chain it in a slightly different way than before and that way actually is really effective as well that's another reason why I like just one extended time like this uh, to balance it out I should have explained that before I kind of forgot sorry uh, I just know that it's a good thing I don't I, I don't think a lot while I'm doing stuff it just kind of all happens and it works out perfectly in my favor uh, but that's that's a good life tip by the way just think everything is going to work perfectly, and most of the time, just by thinking that, it will work out better than it would have if you would have been complacent or acted any differently, even if you would have acted perfectly fine in the first place. Just good. That's a good tip to end on. Act as though it were impossible to fail. Do that. That is a very good idea. Seriously. But anyways, this is the end of the video, so I will see you guys later. Goodbye.